Arthur Jumps Into Fall by Mark Brown. Arthur and D.W. were finishing their breakfast. I have a job for you today, Arthur, said Dad. I want you to rake leaves in the backyard. Wouldn't today be a good time for D.W. to learn to rake? Arthur asked. Dad shook his head. D.W. will be helping me with other things. Arthur looked up at the empty tree. This is all your fault, he said. Then he started to rake. The leaves seemed to be sticking to the ground. Arthur raked harder. Pretty soon, he had made a little pile of leaves. What do you think, pal? he asked. Pal took a sniff. Then he picked up a leaf in his mouth and added it to the pile. Arthur kept raking. The pile got a little bigger. This is a lot of work, he said to Pal. Maybe we should take a break. Arthur and Pal jumped into the pile of leaves. Then they jumped again and again. Pretty soon, the leaves were scattered all over the yard again. Arthur, what are you doing? asked Francine. She walked up with Buster in the brain. I'm raking, said Arthur. You're not doing a very good job, said the brain. It's a question of applying force properly. Here, let me show you. The brain started raking. See how I bend my elbows, he said. I do, said Arthur. Show me more. Now Francine took a turn. This isn't so hard, she said. All it takes is organization and muscle power. Wow, said Buster. This could be the biggest pile of leaves in the country. Or maybe the whole world. Finally, all the leaves were collected. You see, said the brain. That's how it's done. Arthur nodded. Thanks, everyone. It's perfect. Just perfect. The end. I hope you've enjoyed this story. Arthur jumps into fall. Have you ever helped rake leaves in your yard? Or maybe you don't rake. Maybe you have a blower where you have the air that blows the, all the leaves. Have you ever put them into a pile and jumped in them? Grandma has, and it's so much fun. The only problem with jumping into the leaves is Grandma's allergic to some of the dust in the leaves, and it makes me sneeze and cough. But it's still so much fun. And Arthur and Francine and Buster and the Brain and Pal, they look like they're having so much fun making a mess with all those leaves. <laughs> They'll have to rake them all up again. <laughs> now, click that thumbs up button and let Grandma know how much you enjoyed this story. And make sure you come back for more stories. Bye, Grandma.